YouTube, I have got a very naughty herding puppy over here and I wanted to talk to you today about just what you can do with a little herding breed puppy. So number one, what I have done is I've ditched the bowl. Now, why do we ditch the bowl when working, training, uh, or doing anything at all with our dogs? As you can see with this little dog, she's got a level of back off in her. She's got a level of, I might just brr, brr, stay over here. And that is very typical of a herding breed puppy. That is not uncommon uh, or untypical of a herding breed. So for me, I ditched the bowl and then I would consider how I use it for proximity. And I think this is a really important tip with a herding breed because proximity is not necessarily what they want to do. Now you do look a little bit like a spider, uh, but I promise you she is a herding breed. And one of the things that I would say is that it's very, very important that even at this age, we kind of look at and diagnose where we are and we say, okay, this is where we're putting the food and the money in the bank effectively. So that's where we're going to put money in the bank. And as you can see, I'm already playing games that link to proximity. Now, what is proximity? Well, proximity for her is actually when I'm out on a walk, don't go legging it to the other field. Don't go chasing and, and running around with all the other dogs nine fields away. Don't go up and try and round up sheep, cattle or um, anything up in the hill, uh, 20 acres uh, in the valley. Or And that is what they will do because herding breeds have got that propensity to want to go at distance. And that's really what they've inherited and what they've been bred for. However, it's not necessarily what's useful to the average pet owner. Now, um, what I'm going to say with proximity games is you need to look at the dog. Now, I'd quite like her to stand on my leg, but I don't think that's going to happen. So what nice. You can see how the back off kicks in. Do you, do you see that little like I put good? You can see how the there's a good, good. You can see how that stay away bits in there. So what I might do is teach games like this and work with the individual and think, is that good for her right now? Are we good? That for me is a little bit nicer because she moves. She quite likes that, but she's still got to go through me. I like the idea that everything goes through me. So whether you've watched lots of our games before and you're playing games like Thunder, brr, brr, yes, good girl. Brr, yes, good girl. Or whether you're thinking of games like middle, you might even just drop the food around and bring out. Oh, she said, oh, no, I'm too clever for that. Nice. She said, I'm really, really too clever for that. I need to not have a, a second hand, don't I? There you go, you have that one, nice. And then bringing her in here, you can see there's a level of, she's quite aware of where she is. These are brilliant games, get it? Yes, good girl. These are brilliant games for having a puppy that doesn't want to run away from you. And I think it's very important. Now, next one on my list for a herding dog, don't grab. Because when you grab, um, so don't just go grabbing them without prepping. When you grab, they quite quickly again, learn to be away from you. Now, what I would do is I would feed and hold feed and hold and then take the food away and take the pressure away and you've done a little bit of that. What I wouldn't do is go out and go, I'm going to grab you for this, I'm going to grab you for that, I'm going to get hold of you for this. So being aware of don't grab. So kind of like a bit of a hands-off policy. Now, next one for you, top tip, herding breed is limit the rehearsal of what you don't want. So whether what you don't want is, I don't know, chasing and nipping, or whether what you don't want is um, doing uh, big herding games in the garden, uh, or whether what you don't want is backing off you or running away when you get the lead out or whatever it might be, limit it. So when you see them doing something you don't like, think, oh, how can I set this up differently so I don't get this again? Because what you don't want to do is let them practice what you don't want. I think it's very important that you don't allow them to continue to rehearse it. Now, within that, I'm going to kick into other dogs. A dog like this would love to herd other dogs all day long. She'd do it all day and she'd do it every day of the week. Why? Because she's a herding dog. She's a herding breed and that's interesting to her. And so for her, it's kind of like watching TV for, for my partner, Matt. And he would do it and he'd be quite happy doing it. He can get stuck in it and quite enjoy it. Uh, for me, it's a bit like me getting on a horse or training a dog. I can do it all day long. And so it's like her watching TV. She's having a nice time. She's enjoying the show. Don't let her learn other dogs before she's learned you or he's learned you because once they've learned other dogs in a strong, strong way, it's hard to unpair it. So for me, owning a herding dog, I would limit rehearsal on other dogs. So I'd limit her 
uh, rehearsal working other dogs and herding other dogs at this age. And then last one, and you know this YouTube, it's play appropriate games. If you haven't got lots of games, join the academy, get involved in boot camps, get involved in Sexy and a Squirrel, watch the other YouTube videos, listen to the podcast. You know what, it's games galore and there are always appropriate games. You know the saying, there's a game for that. We absolutely want you involved. So whether you have a mother, a sister, a father, a brother, a long lost lover that you may or may want to not admit to and um, ultimately share 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 this video make sure it goes as big as it possibly can because this training is taking the world by storm it's games based training and it's what the dog world needs it needs the fun it needs the joy it needs the motivation and ultimately we know that you can make a big difference here so share it share it share it and we will see you in the next episode youtube see you soon